Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So 29-year-old New Jersey resident James Rom III traveled to D.C. with his father, that would be Junior. And before Trump's speech ended, they already headed to the Capitol because they thought that he was going to hold another rally on the Capitol grounds. So when they reached the building, Rom and his father separated. They went in opposite directions, totally different sides of the Capitol. And Rom had on a GoPro camera. So everything that he was witnessing was captured on video. And in one of his recordings, you could see clearly an officer who has, was injured and he was being assisted by his fellow officers. So clearly he was, wasn't injured by the other officers. He was injured by Trump's terrorists. So Rom knew this wasn't a peaceful protest. But he continued on to the building. He made his way to the Upper West Terrace. Later in the video, Rom was heard saying, quote, holy shit, holy shit. Oh, my fucking God. We just stormed the Capitol. Holy fuck. A short time later, Rom was seen on surveillance video. He illegally entered the Capitol. And video from his GoPro shows Rom looking at the shattered glass on the door that had been smashed in by his fellow rioters. So you know, glass that Trump's terrorists had smashed in just 15 minutes earlier. The alarms were blaring in the background in his video as he entered, and Rom then followed the mob down the hallway. He stopped at a conference room, and there was another man in there who was saying, quote, let's get those dirty politicians. And then Rom continued on to the Capitol crypt, and that was where a huge group had gathered. They totally overwhelmed and pushed past the police. You've probably seen those videos. Eventually, Rom made his way upstairs. He went into Nancy Pelosi's office. He didn't stay in the office, though. He basically just walked through, and then he headed back downstairs to the rotunda, where he was filming himself smoking weed. This was a very big thing with Trump supporters on January 6th. Like so many of them filmed themselves smoking, smoking a joint. I mean, I guess they think it makes them look cool. Like, ooh, look, I'm a bad boy. I, you know, because it's still illegal in D.C. <laughs> anyway, everybody in California is like, yeah, like that's a Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, sometime after that, Rom took part in pushing against the police as they were trying to secure a door. He tells a different story, which I'll get to, but this happened at the rotunda doors. These are the exterior doors of the building. And if you've been watching this show for a while, you know this is one of the biggest challenges in securing the Capitol on January 6th, and it's one of the biggest misconceptions about how things went down on January 6th, because you had several entry points around the building where officers were inside and they were trying to keep the door shut. But because members of the mob were already inside, they'd gotten in through other areas, they attacked the police and forced the doors open from the inside. So if you just see a snapshot of a picture, you know, or a short clip of a video, it looks like the police are letting people in. But no, they were like literally being pushed into the doors, shoved aside as people were coming in or as other people were leaving or as they were allowing other people to leave, as they were forcing people out. So anyway, Rom was part of a large group that swarmed these couple of outnumbered officers. They shoved them into a set of Capitol doors, and it, this was until the doors opened. They just kept pushing until the doors popped open. So that allowed, obviously, more of the mob outside to stream in. And then sometime after that, Rom and his father left the Capitol grounds. So Rom was arrested on February 5th of 2021. He was indicted on charges of civil disorder, entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. Following his arrest, Rom consented to an FBI interview, and he admitted entering the Capitol. He confirmed that he saw broken windows and tear gas before he entered, 
And while he was inside the building, Rahm said that, yeah, I did witness violence against the police. He said he saw people pepper spraying officers. They, he saw a traffic cone that was thrown at some officers. And he claimed it, quote, absolutely made me sick. Rahm also said while he was in Pelosi's office, he heard banging and he heard glass breaking. And, quote, it felt wrong in my heart. And then Rom claims that he was trying to exit the building when he was among the mob that was pushing against the officers and the doors popped open. I don't know. So in October of 2023, Rom pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct in a restricted building. So he was facing up to one year in prison, one year of probation and $100,000 in fines. The prosecutor, though, requested four months in prison, one year of probation, 60 hours of community service and 500 in restitution. And I should note, you know, I'm, a, I'm skeptical about the things that he said, but Rom is one of the few January 6th defendants who cooperated with the House Select Committee. And he told them that his goal that day was to record a video that would go viral. I guess he's a DJ. And so he was trying to like make a name for himself and, you know, get, get some eyeballs. Rom said, quote, I got what I wanted, but at what cost? And the video that Rom recorded on January 6th, I should also point out, it was used by the committee. Um, it was also used by the FBI. They used it to identify a number of people in that mob. And in a letter to the judge, Rom wrote, quote, My participation had enormous consequences for America, for which I grieve. But I hope my actions since that day, in some small way, can help to heal our country. At Rom's sentencing hearing, he told the judge he's not even a big Trump supporter. Basically, his father is, so he went along with him. And Rom admitted in his letter that he voted for Trump in 2020, but he said it was only because his parents are big fans of Trump. Then Rom claimed that he only went to D.C. because he said he wanted to keep an eye on his father because apparently he has health issues and because he wanted to record a, quote, historic event. Kind of hard to believe when he's in the Capitol lighting up a fatty, right? <laughs> he's in there bragging about how he stormed the Capitol. Also, as soon as they reached the building, Rom and his father split up, as I mentioned. So how is he keeping an eye on him? Anyway, Rom told the judge his DJ business has suffered as a consequence of his actions because he said he's now banned from social media sites, so he can't advertise. And Rom said that he's been stopped for extra screening at airports. Also, his Airbnb account was suspended. So, you know, trying to say, oh, I've already paid the price. U.S. District Judge Christopher Cooper presided over Rahm's case, and he gave Rahm a break, but not a complete pass, so I was happy about that. He sentenced Rahm to 45 days in prison, one year of probation, and 500 in restitution. So I think he's a little full of shit, <laughs> but he does appear to be making a small effort to try to make amends. And honestly, given who the judge was, I expected probation only. Cooper is pretty weak, so this was better than I expected. I was pleasantly surprised, even though it was only 45 days. As you all know, I think two to three months minimum should be the, the standard across the board, ab absolute floor, um, not the ceiling. All right. I will let you all know if I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it, become a subscriber, become a donor if you possibly can, or leave a tip or super thanks. Really appreciate it. Love you guys. Take care. Talk with you soon.